today, I'd like to introduce Professor Sherman Yusu Lab Measurement System and the cleaning facilities that we are using at Georgia Tech. First, this is where we measure the device and test the chip. Let me show you an overall view of this space. This is the prop station and measurement equipment for device testing. This is the wafer sample I'm going to use for today's measurement demonstration. This was originally a 12-inch wafer, but we are cutting it into pieces to load into the prop station. So let's load the sample. First, open the door like this. And then we have a chalk inside and we can load our sample on top. Then we load the sample we want to measure like this and turn the vacuum on in the control software. And then check one more time to make sure vacuum is turned on properly. Then push the chalk in and close the door. And that's it for loading the sample. Next, move the chalk to the center of the stage and turn on the microscope light. After focusing the microscope on the wafer, and I'm going to find the device location we want to measure. To move the chalk, we can simply double click the location we want. Once you find the device, move the stage down to get the wafer and prop tip closer together. And next, carefully lower the prop tip down to make contact with the pads. Here, the left pad is gate pad of the FEFET, and the right pad is the pad for source and drain. Now we are ready to measure, and I'll adjust the measurement parameters. I'm going to do a CV measurement with a voltage sweep, so I'm going to change the start voltage and stop voltage, and you can change the step voltage if you want and the frequency. And then click the run button to start the measurement and you can get the CV characteristics of the capacitive synapse with high on-off ratio. Now let me introduce our clean room. This is a view of the inside of the clean room that we can see from the outside. Before entering the clean room, we need to put on shoe covers, a mask, and hairnet. And also we need to put on a clean room suit clean room shoes and goggles. This is a procedure to prevent contaminants from getting inside the clean room. Now I'm ready, so let's go in. Let me show you an overall view of the clean room. This is the ALD, which is the key equipment for MFM capacitor fabrication. And this is the load lock chamber, and we can load our samples here. And there's a laptop, and we can adjust the recipe and control the tool. These are precursors which are the source of the target materials. For this tool, there are precursors for hafnium, zirconium, and titanium nitride. This is the spotter equipment that we use to deposit various metals. These are optical microscopes and we can see the pattern shape and size of our samples during the process. And there's a fume hood and we are using chemicals here to do process like wafer cleaning, development after exposure, or wet edge. This is a photolithography tool named MLA, which we use to create the patterns. 
And this is the RTP tool, which is used to anneal hafenium zirconium oxide to bring out their ferroelectric properties. This is the end of our lateral video. Thank you for watching.